Hello, I'm Svetlin Nako from Softunic Global. I'm here again for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this lesson, you will learn about numeral systems, which are widely used in computer programming in, and also in many areas of the software engineering. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to use binary, decimal, hexadecimal, numeral systems, also their characteristics and how to convert integers from one numeral system to another and vice versa. I will demonstrate with examples how to convert a binary number to a decimal number and vice versa, and also how to convert a hexadecimal number to decimal and vice versa, and how to directly map binary integers to hexadecimal integers. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video lesson. So, okay, let's go into the video. In this section, I will explain the decimal, binary, and hexadecimal numeral systems, how to use them and how to convert numbers between them. Numeral systems represent numbers in written form using sequences of digits. For example, the digit 4 followed by the digit 2 in the traditional decimal system used by humans represents the number 42. Many systems can be used to represent numbers, like the Hindu-Arabic numerals, the Roman numerals, and the Hebrew numerals. In computer science, specific numeral systems are of big importance. The positional numeral systems. In the positional numeral systems, the value of each digit depends on its position. In the integer numbers, the digits on the left have bigger weight than the digits staying on the right. Positional numeral systems use the so-called base, a number like 2, 10, 16, that specifies how many digits are used to represent a number. For example, the decimal system uses 10 digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 0. The binary system uses only two digits, 1 and 0. The hexadecimal system uses 16 different digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, A, B, C, D, and F. At the slide, you can see the decimal, binary, and hexadecimal representation of the numbers like 30, uh, 45, and 60. 30 is represented as 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 in binary and 1e in the hexadecimal system. 45 is represented by 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary and 2d in hexadecimal. And 60 is represented by 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary and 3c in the hexadecimal system. Decimal numbers use positional numeral system of base 10. Decimal numbers are the traditional numbers used by humans in their everyday life. Decimal numbers are represented by the following 10 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Each position in a decimal number corresponds to a certain power of 10. The rightmost position is multiplied by 1, which is 10 raised to the power of 0. The next position on the left is multiplied by 10, which is 10 raised to the power of 1. The next position on the left is multiplied by 100, which is 10 raised to the power of 2, and so on. Let's take an example of a decimal number. Uh, 401 uh, this is the example, is equal to 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2 plus 0 multiplied to the 10 to the power of 1 plus 1 multiplied to the 10 to the power of 0, which is equal to 4 multiplied by 100 plus 0 multiplied by 10 plus 1 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 400 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 420 and 1. We can think of decimal numbers as a polynomials 
uh, dn minus 1, dn minus 2, d, uh, point, 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 d1, d0, which is equal to uh, d0 multiplied by 10 to the power of 0 plus d1, the next digits multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, plus d2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2, plus point, 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 plus dn minus 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of n minus 1. The binary numeral system is fundamental for computer systems. It uses base 2 and only two digits, 1 and 0. Binary numbers, numbers of base 2, are sequences of zeros and ones. For example, 5 in decimal is equal to 1, 0, 1 in binary. We denote binary numbers by the suf uh, with the small suffix b at the end. Each position in a binary number corresponds to different power of 2, starting for from 2 to the power of 0 for the rightmost position, continues with 2 to the power of 1 for the position on its left, then with 2 to the power of 2 for the position on its left, etc. Let's see an example. 1, 0, 1 in binary is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 1 multiplied to the 2 to the power of 0, which is equal to 4 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 5 in decimal. Like in the decimal system, the rightmost digit uh, has the smallest weight and the leftmost position has the biggest weight and all weights are increasing powers of 2 starting from 2 to the power of 0 uh, for the last digit. The next example uses a binary number consisting of 4 digits. 1010 one, in binary is equal to 1 multiplied to the uh, to 2 to the power of 3 plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 multiplied to 2 raised to the power of 1 uh, plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power of 0 which is equal to 8 this plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 which is 10 in decimal. Now I will explain and demonstrate how to convert between binary and decimal numbers. The binary to decimal conversion directly follows the definition from the previous slides. Uh, we multiply each digit by its corresponding magnitude or weight, which is a power of 2 starting from 2 raised to the power of 0 for the rightmost number. Uh, for example, if we have 1001 0, 0, 1 in binary, this is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 0 raised to the power uh, multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to to the power of 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2. So we have this 1, 1, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is equal to 1 multiplied by 8 plus 0 multiplied by 4 plus 1 multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 1, which is 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1, which sums to 11. If we need to implement a conversion algorithm, we shall scan the digits of the input binary number from right to the left. And we multiply the last digits 
by one, the next digit by two, the next digit by four, the next digit by eight, etc. And we shall sum the obtained products. The conversion from decimal to binary system is done as follows. Divide the input number to the base 2 until 0 is reached and take the obtained reminders in reversed order. This is an example how this algorithm works for the input number of 11 in decimal system. Uh, we start with dividing 11 by 2. We obtain 5 uh, plus a reminder of 1, which is the last digits of the binary output. Next, we divide 5 by 2. We obtain 2 and reminder uh, plus reminder 1, which is the last, uh, the next digit of the binary output, the previous digit. Next, we divide 2 by 2 and we obtain 1 uh, as a result plus reminder of 0, which is the next digit of the binary uh, output. And finally, we divide 1 by 2 uh, and we obtain 0 as a result plus 1 as a reminder, which is the first digit in the binary output. Uh, and we stop here because we have reached 0 and we will have no more binary digits. The obtained remainders uh, are as follows. 1 at the first division, 1 at the second division, 1 at the third division, and 1 at the last division. We reversed the order of these remainders and we obtain a binary output, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now let's solve a practical problem related to the binary numeral system. We are given a positive integer number n and the binary digit b, 0 or 1. We need to write a program that finds how many digits of value b exist in the binary representation of the number n. A few examples are given below. For n equals 20 and b equals 0, we have three zeros in the binary representation of 20, which is 10100. For n 15 and b 1, we have four ones in the binary representation of 15, which is 1111. The other examples follow the same logic. Uh, and we can solve the binary digits count problem like this. First, first step, we read the input from the user the number n and b. Second step, we convert the input number n to binary numeral system. Uh, this is done by dividing n by 2 continuously until 0 is reached and collect the remainders in reversed order. The third step, uh, the obtained remainders are the bits in the binary representation of n in reversed order. We count how many of them are equal to b. One step, print the count. And another solution is can be constructed by using bitwise operations. We can take the was the bit using appropriate bitwise operation and check whether this bit is equal to B. Then we can shift all the bits to the right and take the last bit again, and we can repeat the same for all the bits. Uh, we shall learn how to do such bitwise manipulations in the last section of this lesson. Hexadecimal numbers, also known as hex numbers, are widely used in computer science. Hex numbers use base 16 and are represented by a sequence of hex digits. The hex digits are the following literals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
A, B, C, D, and E and F. Note that after nine, we the next digit is A, which has a decimal value of 10. Uh, the next digits after A are B, C, D, E, and, and F. And they have decimal values of 11, 12, 13, 14, and, fif and 15. These decimal values are used when we convert a hex number to a decimal value. In computer science, the hex numbers are usually prefixed with 0x, for example, uh, 0xff. Each position uh, represents a power of 16. To illustrate this, let's examine the following example. The number 0xp7f6 equals to the digit b multiplied by 16 uh, to the power of 3 plus the digit 7 multiplied by 16 to the power of 2 plus the digit f uh, multiplied by 16 to the power of 1 plus the digit 6 multiplied to by 16 to the power of 0, which is equal to 11 multiplied by 4096 uh, plus 7 multiplied by 256 plus 15 multiplied by 16 plus 6 multiplied by 1, which uh, is equal after some calculations to 47,094. At the end, all the calculations, after all the calculations, the decimal value of the hex number uh, 0xb7f6 is uh, 47,094. The calculations are identical with the decimal and the binary numeral system, but the base 16 is used instead of 10 or 2. Finally, let me review why hex numbers are so important in the computer science. They have a flexible property. Four digits correspond to one hex digit. Four binary digits correspond, uh, for example, something like this. Uh, thus, an 8-bit number can be represented by two hex digits. In the same logic, a uh, four-digit hex number corresponds to 16-bit binary number. Now let's give an example how to convert hex to decimal and decimal to hex. We use the same algorithms we use for converting binary numbers to and from decimal system. Converting a hex number to decimal follows the definition of hex number. We multiply each digit to its weight, which is a power of 16, and we sum the weighted digits. The weight for the rightmost digit is, is 1, the weight for the next digit is 16, uh, for the next is 256, etc. For example, let's convert the hex number 0x1f4 to decimal value. 0x1f4 is equal to 1 multiplied by 16 to the power of 2 plus 15 multiplied to 16 to the power of 1 plus 4 multiplied to 16 to the power of 0 which is equal to 1 multiplied by 256 plus 15 multiplied by 16 plus 4 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 256 plus 240 plus 4 which is equal to 500. Converting to the opposite direction from decimal to hexadecimal is done by continuously dividing by 16 and taking the reminders in reverse order until we reach zero. Let's take, for example, the decimal number 15, uh, 500. Uh, we divide 500 by 16 and we obtain 31 with reminder 4. 
This reminder gives the last digit of the converted number. Then we divide the by 16, uh, the obtained from the previous step value 31. And we obtain 1 uh, and reminder 15, which corresponds to F. This digit F is the next digit of the converted number. The next step is to divide by 16, the obtained from the previous step value 1, and to obtain 0 and reminder 1. This digit 1 is the first digit of the converted number. Finally, the result is constructed by reversing the digits um, corresponding to the reminders obtained from each division. Uh, in our case, the result is 1F4. I mentioned already that binary and hex numbers can be easily mapped to one another because four binary digits directly correspond to one hex digit. Following this property, the conversion from binary to hexadecimal and back is straightforward. Let's give an example of converting a binary to hexadecimal numbers and vice versa. The hex number A2E3F can be converted to binary by taking the four binary digits for each hex uh, digit like this. Uh, the digit A corresponds to 1010. The digit 2 corresponds to one, uh, zero, zero, one, zero. The digit E corresponds to 1110, the digit 3 corresponds to 0011, and the digit F corresponds to 1111. We append all these pits and we obtain the binary representation of the input hex numbers. Now let's do the opposite, transform the binary number 10100010111011011111 and to, to hex. We split this number into groups of four bits, into groups of four bits. Uh, like it is shown here, we have the following mappings. 1010 is 10 in decimal, which is A in hex. Uh, 0010 binary is 2 in decimal and 2 in hex. Uh, 1110 is 14 uh, in decimal, which is E in hex. Uh, 0011 binary is 3 in decimal and 3 in hex, and 1111 binary is 15 in decimal and F in hex. We append the above hex digits. Uh, and we get A2E3F. These examples illustrate how straightforward is the mapping between hex and binary numbers. In programming, we shall use hex numbers for memory addresses, also for to represent 8-bit, 16-bit and 32-bit values and in many situations uh, related to bit sequences and bytes. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the Werner's community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for software developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Yes, completely free. So join now. Softuni.org.
Also, check out my other videos and tutorials from Dev Concept Series, where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession. Type in the comments below what topic you would like to see next, and I'll do my best to record a video for you. Goodbye! See you in my next video!